started yet? No, sir. You're just in time. Drive on. Around the block for the ninth time. It's a merry-go-round. You know that for the last six months, I haven't seen the beginning or the end of a picture. Every time when we come to the theater, the girl has already been torn from her lover's arm. When we go out, they haven't been reunited yet. For once, let us stay on really happy ending. But Felix, you know how people swarm the lobby when the picture begins and ends. It's insane. Love is never safe. You must do things dangerously. To think of my position, my husband. I tell you what you will do. I think of your husband if you think of me. Huh? Well, has it started? Not yet, sir. You can still make it. Drive on. When we are not together, you do think of me, don't you? Felix, you know I do. Well, now, when, when you think of me, then you think sometimes it might be, well, uh, nice if we kiss the hand. Yes. You see, and when we are together, you lose your nerve. You're being cruel, Felix. A cat is just not the place to kiss him. No? <laughs> A lot of people would be surprised to know that. Well, what about it? Now you're too late. The picture's been on for three minutes. Good. How much? 26 spring. Give me my ticket and you wait until I'm seated. I'm not disturbing you, am I? What? Two. Six, uh, 66 and 68. How much? 45 francs with tax. 45 out of 100. Oh, 
Not much other than I, I saw. Well, I don't care what you saw, but what oh, you did. Down in front, we can't see through you. <laughs> Not at all, madame. That, that creature kissed me. Oh, is that all? <laughs> I'm sick of affairs. It's all the fault of the government. Oh, of course it is. When the government gets slack, the public morals get slacker. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but no, no. Have you no soul? It's 
give me something more, uh, uh, more discreet. Yes, my dear Count. We have another here. Uh, ah, yes, here it is. Now, there is something that any woman would like. Yes, but I don't want something any woman would like. Think of this lovely creature. Hey, um, uh, a lily in the field. Ah, yes. Yes, yours? Let me tell Pedro on the telephone side. Thank you. Oh, my sweet, my sweet. Hello. When you come to dinner this evening, I want you to tell Father that you and I spent the afternoon together. Well, darling, I tell you, that is impossible. I was at the Turkish bath. I'll say now. No matter what happens, you're to remember to tell Father that you were with me. All right, adorable. Ta-ta. <coughs> darling. What did you do interesting today? Oh, I was with Alfredo. Who was my Alfredo? What? Oh, uh, oh yes, yes. Uh, yes, we... Uh, we had lunch in the bar, from there to the dressmakers. And then to the Turkish bath, and... Oh, no, now how silly of me to mention that. Uh, yes, quite. <coughs> well, Monique, go on. Uh, then we went to the cinema. Yes, uh, yes, I was there too. Well, well, <coughs> tell me about it. Was it... Uh, oh, most amusing. You should have been there. Yes, yes, evidently. I, <laughs> I missed something all right. Hmm? Oh. <coughs> well, come on. Uh, tell me about it. What, <laughs> what's the mystery? Uh, mystery? Oh, no, it was a musical, wasn't it? Yes, Father. You know, one of those stories where the father locks his daughter in her boudoir and the lover comes along with his ladder and... Oh, now, now, Monique, uh, let me tell it. And you know, all the time, the father who was down below in the bushes. I didn't see anyone in the bushes. Oh, yes, you did, didn't you? Then the lover climbs up the balcony, takes the girl in his arms and sings that song. Now, how does it go, Alfredo? Just then the father comes running out of the bush. Oh, yes! Knocks over the ladder and leaves the two lovers hanging in me there. <laughs> ah, but uh, you didn't come to the case yet. Uh, Alfredo? Well, uh, of course, it always ends with the kiss. Uh, it was just an accident. Oh, now, sweetheart, how can you say anything so lovely it was just an accident? I said it was an accident. Then you think the fellow meant to kiss Monique? Well, of course, it was a matter of uh, To kiss Monique? Yes. Did someone kiss Monique? Yes. Now, just one minute, please. Monique, am I your fiancé or am I not? Well, if you don't know, I don't know. Yes, but nobody explains to me nothing. I demand to know if you were kissed. I was kissed. By whom? I challenge him. You sit down and behave. Give me advice. Now listen to me, Monique. If you do not tell me everything at once, I tell your father that I was not even at the cinema with you. Quiet, quiet. If it were left to you, the story would be all over Paris. Hello, Edward. Kill that story. Not a paper in Paris will dare publish it if I say not to. Alfonso, Joe, Alfonso is hungry. Yes, and so was I. <laughs> 
Never mind about Alphonse. What about the beautiful girl? You know, you sat next to her in the movie and you, you kissed her and she stopped your face. Oh, oh. You apologized. And she was still angry, still angry. And then, then, then the crazy woman came in and uh, she appeared. What, what did you say? What did you say? Listen, I've told you ten times already. Yes, but I want to prove your performance. Huh. Well, I said to her, I assure you, you're only making matters worse by... Um, that was the wrong line. The line you should have used is uh, Murray's line in the fourth act of The Wood of the Boy. Fear not, fair damsel. A kiss is but a paltry thing. Dr. Uh, Dr. you're not prompting at the theater now. Listen, I've prompted 446 plays and know them all by heart. But you never take advantage of my vast intelligence. But, but this actually happened to me. The police took my name. The police took your name? Yes. And you gave your real name, Philippe sure. Martin? Oh, dear. A thousand beautiful women in Paris never knew my name was Toto. A thousand? You don't say so. Mm. What did they call you? They called me uh, Poo Poo. <laughs> Poo Poo? <laughs> what? Poo Poo? <laughs> I even had to give the address of the theater. You gave the address of the theater where we, where we play? Well, you gave the address. Oh, my, what a smart boy. What a brilliant mind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> At three o'clock, doesn't know I'm up yet. Listen, I didn't set it for getting up. This is time we are you at the rehearsal. But rehearsal? Oh, we got to go to rehearsal. Right? Oh.
I can't have people like... Well, what are you? A fiend. A fiend? Well, I can't have any of you getting my theater into disrepute. You're fired. But please, uh, let me tell you my side of it. No. After all, a kiss? After all, a kiss is but a poetry thing. Huh? Man's mad. Call the police. Oh, <laughs> I'm going. I'm going. You see, that was the wrong line, Toto. Uh, uh, goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. You can't take away my car. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. Oh, that, that's what I said. Get out. Well, it's an old line, but it's always good for negatives. <laughs> <laughs>
Mr. Mustang is being tried? Yes. Where do you think you're going? In here? Don't you see that public not admitted? Oh, I see. Thank you. Oh, oh hey, how about him? Huh? He has a car. Yes, but I, I have a letter. I have a letter. You must have a car. You have 346, fourth floor, second quarter to your right, third door. That way. Mademoiselle Taylorette, I would you tell the court just what you felt at the time of the... Uh, <laughs> you want any girl to see you? Well, Your Excellency, I, I can't say terror exactly. Well? Um, no, I, I can't say horror. Excitement, perhaps? No, not quite excitement. Mixed emotions, then. Yes, that's it. Emotions. Oh. In the presence of the plaintiff, you will now show just how this thing happened. <laughs> oh. oh. You can demonstrate on the clerk of the court. <laughs> That's asking a little too much. Hey, hey, young man, where are you going? Arrest him or something. Time to knock. Oh, well, I'm, I'm in a hurry. The time said knock. We're next, timer. What do you want? I want admission to the courtroom, door number, number six. You have to get a form. Fourth floor, corridor to the right, up the stairway. And don't read over my shoulder. Oh. <laughs> oh. What's all cut of the right on here? Don't do it over my shoulder. Now, now. The only way we can get to the truth of this thing is to reenact the crime just as it occurred at the cinema. Sit down, mademoiselle. You have nothing to fear. You are in the fatherly protection of justice. Your Excellency, at the cinema she was much nearer. Uh, Mademoiselle, if you please. Nearer. Uh, 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 uh. It's all right. Very well. Now, let's proceed. Before kissing the plaintiff, uh, did you make any advances? He stole my program. Oh, oh, oh. is that true? <laughs> no, I, I didn't steal it. I merely borrowed it. And uh, then what did you do? Oh, nothing. I just kissed her, that's all. Nothing? She calls that nothing. Why, down. Uh, but how? <laughs> how? Illustrate. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> don't you touch me. Well, she, she didn't say that in the cinema. <laughs> Stop. I throw that. I object. I mean, uh, silence. <laughs> Go away. Come in. Why did you knock? Well, the man up or down said he, he told me to knock. In fact, he was very rude about it. Never mind. What do you want? Well, well, well. Oh, oh. My very best friend, Martin, he's on trial for his life or death. I, I must have a pass to see him in door number three. You'll have to get a tax stamp. First floor in the corner by the entrance. Mm. You don't got one here, have you? No! no. Martin, the court is confused. It still does not understand the when of the kiss, the where of the kiss, or the why of the kiss. Your Excellency, if I could only explain, I see. You mean the temptation was irresistible? Yes, that's it. Oh. Your Excellency, you know what love is, don't you? Oh, <laughs> don't ask the court question. Well, it's sort of like being struck by lightning, isn't it? I protest. Against lightning? <laughs> Now, go on with your life, uh, Go on, go on. Well, it happened like this. I was seated next to Mademoiselle. Um, the fragrance of her perfume. Such a subtle perfume, Your Excellency. 
sharp. Then I was looking at Mademoiselle here. Your Excellency, I do wish the court would come down and take a look at that sweet little ear. The bench can see the sweet little ear from here. Proceed. Well, Your Excellency, and you were saying things to me. The people on the screen were embracing each other. There was soft music, a love song, to end like this. Da, da, da. And then, Your Excellency, I offered up a kiss as my tribute to beauty. This defendant convicts himself in weaving his subtle net. He employed all the insidious devices known to his perfidious profession. A love song. A rainy afternoon, low light, and then, at the psychological moment, he struck! Poor Philippe, Philippe, Philippe. Philippe could only remember the, the defendant's duration from the from Merchant of Venice, or, or, or Madame X, Madame X, Madame X would be good, too. But he won't, he won't. Martin, before I pass sentence, have you anything further to say? Only this. That if I'm convicted for kissing a girl, a little girl, mind you, that it will be the first, the first time since the days of Charlemagne that a Frenchman has been convicted for so charming an offense. <laughs> Down through the centuries, we have become known as the most gallant of nations. And now, with one gesture, this court will destroy that noble and inalienable heritage! No! The quality of mercy is not strained. It droppeth as the gentle rain from heaven, as it droppeth upon us that rainy afternoon. And so, I kissed the beautiful girl. No true Frenchman should question why or wherefore. I only ask the court to study her loveliness. And there, I rest my feet. Silence. this is not all strictly legal because uh, making allowances for the yield of an ear, we find you guilty of merely creating a disturbance in public and inflict a minimum penalty of three days in jail. Three days? In three days, this monster will be free to repeat his crime. Oh, <laughs> no. Three days in jail, or 150 francs and cost. Oh, I'll pay the fine. 150 francs plus city taxes, plus special taxes, plus government taxes, plus registration fees. Total, 1,000 francs, 80 centimes. Will you please give me the address of that jail? Do I knock or do I not knock? Knock. Knock? Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Yeah. What do you want? Well, I have here a permit. I have four signatures. I have a stamp. Now I want a card. Are you a French citizen? Yes. yes. What did your mother and father die of? They didn't. <laughs> I'll have to look up your record. My record? Yes, sir. We have on file here a complete life history of every citizen. <laughs> well, I'll be back after a while. Sit down.
Mark Tan takes you. Mark Tan, Mark Tan, Mark Tan, Mark Tan, M, 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 M. Kill. into the trial. What? Well, you told me I had to go into the reserve door, yes. Oh, yes, yes. This entrance is public. Oh, this is public. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now you know, don't oh, you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I know. Yeah. So where are you going? I'm going into the trial. And <laughs> <laughs> the trial is over. Oh, <laughs> then I don't need this anymore. No. The trial is over. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. The trial is over. <laughs> What did I do with Mr. Martin? They, they put him in jail. What? what? He, he couldn't pay his fine. Oh. <laughs> huh? Oh, <laughs> couldn't pay his fine. <laughs> What are you doing? Look here, we're gonna have some fun. Him? Huh? Ah, the monster attacks again, eh? <laughs> Down there, all those people, you know. Yes, I'm speaking to see my hand. 360 male 
full of monsters like him. Where is he? You fired him. Yes. I fired him and everybody in Paris is paying money to see him. Huh. That's the trouble with this theater. You just tell somebody they're fired and the first thing you know, they believe it. <laughs> By the way, Jojo, yeah? aren't you an uncle who is rich? Oh, very rich, very rich. And very sick. Yeah, oh, well, he's out of danger now. Oh, that's yeah. bad. Yeah. Oh, he's out of danger? Yes, yes. And what about him loaning you? Oh, oh, no, say not. Oh, oh, no, no, never. Why, did he cut you out of his work? Cut me out of his life? Hmm. Why? Well, because I look like him. I don't want to go around spending his money. People might think I'm him, and I don't want people to think I'm him because I don't want to look like him. And everybody says we look like each other. Now, I don't want to look like him. But what does he look like? He looks like a dog-faced boy. <laughs> hey, pardon me, just a moment. After all, I'm his nephew, you know, see? Better be. Of here, somewhere. So, so, about that. He's got to fire you. Oh, yes, already fired me. Gonna fire you again. Now, will you believe me? No, that soup is almost ready to eat. Ah, a chicken, eh? Now, will you go? Well, I'm gonna stay here and have a fine dinner for them when they get back. I do all the cooking at home, you know. Uh, what, what did I say? I'll drink. I think I'll make some nice onion dressing. If you come to collect money from them... Not at all, my dear. I've come to give them money. Oh, 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 well, this is a crazy pleasure. It's a great pleasure. And an honor. And an honor. Call for a celebration. Call for a celebration. Get some wine. Get some wine. Oh, uh, a little one. Turn down the corner and get us a bottle of wine. Get two bottles. Oh, get two bottles. And don't come back. What were you doing back there? Oh, it's a little game we play called Seek and Go Hide. He hides and I find him, and I hide and he finds me. <laughs> it's a game we play when we're, when we're not working. You are working, you know, both of you. Really? Really? Really. Now, you give me the yogurt that I and you chop up those onions. Very fine. Do you realize what a great injustice you've done to me? Uh, do you realize what a great injustice you've done to me? To both of you? Yes, both of us. Turn your head all that way, please. The more to the right, I won't look at your profile. Yeah, that's it. Are you going to ring the bell with his profile? I thought so. Yeah, there is something there. Only ten days ago, I was saying that that Marta has something, you know. <laughs> I think he has the month for uh, the bulges. Is it contagious? Is it contagious? Now, what I mean is you have a real talent. Oh, and that is why you fired me. Mm. Oh, no. <laughs> Can't you take a joke, Marta? <laughs> <laughs> you have a great future in front of you. I've had the whole play rearranged for you. I, I've even composed a song for you myself. Uh, it's about that rainy afternoon affair, you know, you rascal, you. <laughs> ah, you see, and you're making fun of my voice. Why, you've got a marvelous voice, haven't you? Has he? Has he? Oh, so, so you let me sing. No, but I never, uh, never mistake a face. Come on, where's that egg? Come on. A song, a song, a song, a song. There's a little matter of salary. Oh, 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 that's a little matter of salary. Yeah, we mustn't forget the salary. <laughs> yes. Like a lot of it? Oh, yes, a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, cut that up. Uh -huh. One, two, three. Is that enough? Four, five, six. Make it a thousand. Oh, then it's a deal. What are you two talking about? Hmm. What are you talking about? I'm talking about soap. Oh, we are talking about uh, francs. Yes. You mean you want a thousand francs? Yes. Oh, oh. oh. So you want a thousand francs a week in advance, and you shall have it. Oh. You took my advice and made yourself popular, and I'm perfectly willing to pay, my boy. <laughs> now put the rest of the in the bed. You mean to say he came right up to you and grabbed your arm? What did you do? Slap his face? Well, what could I do? How did he get out of jail? Uh, how? Yes, how? You wouldn't know, would you? Are you insinuating? Yes. Mm, well, uh, you paid his fine. What if I did? Wouldn't you? Gladly. Uh, but, but that's no reason he should chase you down the stairs, and... <laughs> he doesn't need a reason for anything. He just does things. Who is it? Oh, it's Claudia. 
It's personal. It's personal. It's personal. Hello? Yes, this is Mademoiselle Heller speaking. Who is it? Who? Who is it? Well, of all the colossal impudence calling me like this. I know, mademoiselle, but this is terribly important. Well, if you think I'm going to stand here all afternoon and talk to somebody who has... Who is a... Oh, she cut me off. Well, call her again. Hello? Who is it? Oh, indeed. Well, quickly then. I can't have you following me every minute. What do you want? I must see you. I want to pay back a thousand francs. That'll be five hundred. Uh, th this afternoon? Well, that's impossible. This is the afternoon I go to Fredo. I really must be going. Oh, I forgot I wanted to pay back a thousand francs. Well, who then that ends the matter? I won't see you again. Why should you? Oh, I'm afraid I couldn't pay back a thousand francs at one time. You see, I thought you would tell me to pay back a little every day, say, a hundred francs. Then that would take ten days. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish to announce an exhibition 
Station, I'm Madame Roselle Agda. Clear of the ice. Will everyone please clear the ice? Thank you. Yes. Who's the girl? It doesn't 
doesn't make any difference. It's a girl. Goodbye. Yes, I know how you are suffering, Peter. You are suffering, aren't you? What? Why? Naturally. Well, if we are saying goodbye, you may kiss me for the last time. <laughs> for the first time. I trust this dress rehearsal is not going to be too much of a strain for you. Oh, not at all. Oh, no, thanks. It's very lovely. Well, I thought it was going to be different, but look at us. We're just as unready as any company uh, at a dress rehearsal. Back to your places. Come on, move. Hurry. You move like snail. Snail. Oh, you shut up. I know my lines. Okay, I just want you to run over the new lyrics to the song. And put some warmth and some oomph into it, huh? Piano. The rain was drifting. I was slipping. And so I thought to see a movie would be a Yeah, and that's fine. Plenty excellent. But more warmth, my dear boy. More... Mm. Well, apparently I haven't so much... Mm. Now, I'm going to show you how to do it. Yeah, I'm going to play you. Oh, it's a bad piece of casting. Mm -hmm. well, I'll be you for the time being. Now, I'm going to sing the song that all Paris is waiting to hear. And you must imagine me coming down the aisle and taking my seat, just as you did in the cinema, the famous kiss. And you sit next to Clara. Clara? 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 Yes. Clara is going to play the Penelon girl, you see? Another bad piece of costume. Um, How do you know? You've never kissed me. Well, I did. <laughs> Quiet, poo poo. No, no, come, 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 come. Now, this is how it must be sung. The mask of comedy concealing the throbbing hearts of romance. Now, you follow me, it'll be quite easy. Uh, my key, please. Uh, now, the first part's are important, you see, because. Everybody just tells the story, and everybody knows the story, so... Uh, all right, you know. The rain was dripping, and I was slipping, and so I thought to see a movie would be ripping. It was a dark there, yes, so I to park there, yes, especially on that rainy afternoon. A lovely stranger sat there beside me, and there was danger, but no conscience there to guide me. I squeezed her hand, then it was so grand, then, on that lucky rain, rain, rainy afternoon. Upon the screen was a scene of love supreme, but in between I caught a glimpse of loveliness divine that stole away this heart of mine. Believe me, mister, who could resist her? Before I knew what I was doing, I had kissed her. <laughs> yes. There's another way to do that. You, know, you, could, you could kiss her before you sing the word kiss her. We'll try that again. Before I knew what I was doing, I had kissed her. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. I think it's better to kiss her after you say the word kiss her, because it gives you a little more time, and we don't want. Before I knew what I was doing, I had kissed her. Very well, my very well. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, shall I try it again? Okay, Mr. Like yeah. All right, come on, Clara. No, 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 no. Clara's busy. Lulu, you come and understudy Clara from Jamar Town, will you? Oh. How long have you been employed in my theater? Hmm? Martin! Yes? Yes, Mr. I'm looking for. How do you do? Uh, is it about money? Oh, you call him an ace, do you? That's what I'm not here for an explanation. This friendship, if that's what you call it, must be. Oh. I'm sorry to hear that. You see, daughter, but uh, as much as I would like it to be otherwise, our friendship is nothing but a business arrangement. Business? Yes. You see, after she paid my fine and got me out of jail, well, the least I could do was to pay her back. Monique paid your fine? Yes. Why, if I... Why did she pay your fine? 
You see, she realized that as long as I was in jail, the whole incident would be in headlines in the papers. So to avoid any more publicity, to take my time. I'm only interested in there being no more scams. And as you are a gentleman, uh, that respects Monique. Respect? Monsieur Fellow, and there's nothing in the world I wouldn't... Well, then, for Monique's sake, I hope you will use discretion, good judgment, and good taste. And no more scams. For Monique's sake. <laughs> Thank you, Martin. <laughs> uh, goodbye, Martin. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Martin. <laughs> and publish and be an important father. But, but your excellency. Gentlemen, gentlemen. I have had a hundred telegrams. My phone has been driving me mad all afternoon. 
an army of women, some beautiful, some so-so, are now waiting in my ante room, all... Demanding his release? Exactly. You mean to tell me that you want to be the first man to go down in history to refuse a thousand women? No. Uh, yes. To uphold the law, I'd refuse any woman anything. Who is this man? He's the Minister of Justice. He is? He? Are you? Are you really? Yes, really. So, hello, how are you? <laughs> I'll tell you what I'll do. You let me have my time for one month, and I'll let you have him for ten years now. Very generous offer. But entirely without precedent. Did Napoleon wait for precedent? Why don't you confess that you're the monster? Why don't you confess that you're an idiot? Well, I don't mind. Well, well all I can do is have him. A very fine point has been raised by the idiot. I mean, this gentleman here. A fine point about Napoleon. Like him, I adhere to my decisions. In this case, I can do absolutely nothing. Nothing? Nothing? Nothing. Uh, pardon me. Hello? Oh, oh. Hello, darling. It's my little wife. The Empress Josephine. Yes, my darling. You haven't forgotten about the new review that's opening tonight, have you, darling? Oh, oh, darling, I'm sorry. I, an affair of state, this is... Uh, I know, but I have a new dress. Oh, uh, it's an affair of state. I want to go, and I have a new dress. Oh, oh my, no, my darling. Uh, uh, yes, my darling. No, my darling. Uh, very well, my darling. <laughs> oh, gentlemen, that really was my little wife. <laughs> <laughs> you know, on second thought, uh, Napoleon was also open-minded. Mm. If I grant your request... Oh, thank oh, you so much, Ah, ah, ah. But before I release Martel, you must first get the signatures of the Chief of Police, the uh, Inspector of Prisons, the Keeper of the Seals, Register, Commissioner... <laughs> Here comes the most important fiancé in Paris. <laughs> oh, but Monique, my sweet Harry Harry, you'll be late for the opening. How can I be in the opening with Martin in jail? Oh, no, no, no. Have you not seen the extra just now? He is being released. Meraviglioso. <laughs> well, I don't understand why you should be so delighted about that. Haven't you heard? Mario knows Martin is no actor and is just exploiting him. As an actor, he will be a colossal flap. Tonight, the audience will jeer him off the stage. <laughs> I wouldn't miss that for anything in the world. You wouldn't dare laugh at him. Yes. All afternoon, I have been practicing my hit. Alfredo, you so much as that were a hit. One little hit, or even a shush, I'll... No, Monique. If you do not permit me to hit him, I... I break off the engagement. You will? Most likely. Come on, Father. You're not dressed for the theater either. Wait a minute. I've torn up the ticket. All right. I've got four seats for the compliments of the manager. Oh, all right. <laughs>
the orchestra to play the overture. They've already played it. But tell them to play it again. Where's Martin's dress suit? Bruno has it on, but I got the bell. You will be fortunate if the imposter does not appear. Then I shall assume my rightful place. The show must go on. Yes, and if Martin gets here, those clothes come off. Huh?